true. I, I've seen, I've seen people, there was a situation where this person that I work with, uh, he was running to work and he died at the time clock, literally, oh, literally. Really? Had a, had a heart, yeah, had a heart attack. Wow. Uh, he died right before he punched in. Um, so for me, I don't think that it's, I don't think that it's about a person like wanting to be in corporate America. I think it's like we, sometimes we spend a certain amount of money and we need to find a way to pay for these things that we have. And, and sometimes you're looking at a job as the way to do that, which I don't knock it. Like the, I think there's, there's, there's nine to five killers who have a day job and it's what you do when you get off the day job. Like you, you don't give somebody 40 hours of your time and then get off working and not do the thing that you want. Even if it's not for money, even if it's your money, like whether you want to paint or sing or whatever else you're trying to do. But yeah. watching that person or, or witnessing or hearing about that person passing away while rushing to somewhere that they ne didn't necessarily want to be, that, that, that kind of shook me a little bit. Yeah. I won't lie. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's heartbreaking right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, like to me, like how I was able to continue my passions is that I wanted a nine to five that would pay my bills. And then I would follow all of my passion mm -hmm. projects after work. So as soon as, you know, I got out of work, I would have three other side hustles that I would, you know, filter in. And those would be my passion projects that I would do. And that's how the the podcast has been like a passion project. I don't I don't make money off of this yet. Hopefully I will be able to monetize this once I get like a good amount of like watch hours. But right now it's been a passion project of mine. Yeah. Well I think that when like I remember when I first started my YouTube, like before I started this this recent channel, I used to have that in mind as the key thing. I right? like get to a point where I'm going to monetize. And now the difference in how I approach this is when you have somebody in front of you, if you can offer value, where there's so many people now, they're not offering any real value. 